Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with FC Groningen. Since the last episode, where we, uh, just in case you forgot, we lost 7-1 to Tottenham, uh, we've lost two more games. First up was an utterly shambolic performance against VVV Venlo, a 4-2 defeat. Edis Ibaguren gets two goals for us, however, we were 2-0 down after 15 minutes. Paul Mora, which... To be fair, his goal was really good. Uh, Open the scoring. Philip Hoysen, Ho- Hossener? Hossener on the 14th minute. Then Philip Hossener once again on the 74th minute. Razvan, yep, Razvan Gra- Gradinaru then scores in the 83rd minute. We we just we weren't very good. I mean, you can see the stats on the right hand side. Our entire defence, the highest rating was a 6.4. Jovan Knife got a 6.1. Friedek had a particularly shocking game for him as well. And then a somewhat expected defeat against, I think, second place Ajax. A 3-2 defeat in this one. We were actually leading. We went 1-0 down, thanks to Joe. Then Tom Van Viet and Juna Toivio scored goals for us midway through the second half. And I thought at this point, great. So I went defensive. The moment I went defensive, Daly Sinkgraven scored and then Joe scored again. So we ended up actually throwing away a leave. Leave? A, le- a lead? Nicholas Friere also terrible once again. I am desperately, desperately looking for defenders to join in the summer. Problem is I have no wage budget and no transfer budget, so I can't actually sign anyone on a pre-contract agreement. We are now out of all forms of competition apart from the Eredivisie, so we've got two more episodes left, I think, of the regular season. Today we're going to have PEC Zwolle and FC Twente. I was going to do the Ajax game, but I I changed my mind. Uh, So yeah, Zwolle and Twente today. Tomorrow, we're going to have SC Heerenveen and Willem Twey, because I assume if we finish third, we go into the weird Europa League playoff thing, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll find out. We are currently sat third place in the table, up against a 15th place PEC Zwolle, who I assume are massively underachieving, because last year... Pretty sure they were in Europe, and the year before they were also in Europe. This season, they're, I was going to say they're on the verge of relegation. They're not, although I have just seen that Adio Den Haag are on the verge of relegation. That's great, because I don't like playing them. The starting lineup we're going to go for is Christian Lasso in goal. Basically, I've kind of come to the conclusion that Sergio Pat, this is probably his last year with us. In the summer, if we get a big enough offer for him, I will get rid of him. And Christian Lasso... He's a three and a half star player already and he's only like seven years old. So I'm going to start playing him from this point on until the end of the season. Back four, Dakenham, Toivio, Larsen and Josh Timmon. I tried to get him on loan for the rest of the season, or next season, sorry. I, I, have, no, I have no wage budget or transfer budget, so I can't do that yet. Maybe in the summer. Midfield of Bakuna and Freideck. Josh Anoma has moved out to the right hand side of midfield. David Aguanaga is going to be the left sided midfielder. Edis Ibegoran and Seku Karamoko are the two strikers. Basically, Julian Green, let us let's uh, let me show you Julian Green. He's been pretty terrible. You can see down there, his average rating is a 6.63 for the last five games. If we go form, I mean, the odd game, there's a 7.7 there, there's a 7.2 there. He's gone past his little, his purple patch, and now he's just playing average. Because Zwolle are down the wrong end of the table, I'm hoping this is a comfortable-ish victory, like the one we had against AZ Alkmaar in between the Spurs games. First highlight of the game, it's taken 10 minutes to come and it looks like it's potentially going Zwolle's way. Banda in the middle, Anoma intercepts it. Iba Gruen on the halfway line across to David Aguanaga, the youngster. He Basically, he wanted to go out on loan and I said, sure, and they went, wait, why don't I just play him? Crossed in, Karamoko's there. He's hit the post and it's cleared by Conrad. 12 minutes and we've got a second highlight. Freideck gets Dakanam's throw, Anoma. Dakenham's there if he needs him, does find him, first time cross, cleared. Freideck, edge of the area, has a go, great save from the keeper, and it's cleared and it's going to be a throw on, it's a free kick, someone was offside. Another highlight starting again with a Dakenham throw on. Freideck gets Bakuna's pass, all the way across to Aguanaga, takes it round one, crossed in, Ibergruen's at the front and Van der Hart makes a fairly easy save. The highlight is still going on from the uh, the early ref. Bande runs forward, has a go from well outside the area. I mean, that wasn't the highlight. That couldn't. Have, that that was actually the highlight. Ah, wonderful. Twenty two minutes in, Aguinaga has gone and got himself injured, which means Julian Green is going to be coming on for the rain, r- remainder of the game. I can't speak. Dakanam with a throw. Bakuna crossed in. Josh Timmon, edge of the area, takes it round two players, put it in. 
Josh Timmons should have scored his first ever goal in Dutch football. 35 minutes played. We really should be 1-0 up at this point. We've had all of the possession. We've had so many shots. But for some reason, we are just not getting the goal. And at half-time, it does stay 0-0. That, yes, your performance is disappointing. Assertively, your performance is disappointing. Uh, you deserve, Yeah, that, sure, probably wasn't what I wanted to say. Didn't really work. Let's do a sub as well, because Karamoko, as always, seems to be struggling. Whenever I play him, like, he's really good, but he just struggles to actually have chances, and I don't know why. Friedek with a free kick cleared only as far as Friedek wants again. Where are you going to go with it? Gets it back from Bakuna. Plays it. To... What was that? What the? That was not a 45-yard crossfield ball. That was just kick it back into your own half. Timmon forward ball. Julian Green's not going to get there. Friedek. Julian Green now does get the ball. Friedek once again kicks it into a player, but Bakuna is quick off the mark and gets the ball back. Josh Anoma. Through to Tom Van Viet. Where are you going to go, son? Front post. He's not been fouled. It's going to be a corner. Timon takes the corner. No run-up, apparently. Doesn't need it. Coppers in his own area. Kicks it upfield. 55 minutes in, and I, I need to demand more or something because we're just not going to score a goal. And defensively, they're not very good. 60 minutes. Ibergruen on the ball. Timmons making a run. Green's there as well. Green's ball inside. Van Viet doesn't get it. Anoma does in the area. Six yard box. Hits it wide. Why? Why can you not get that on target from that range? This is most certainly going to be two points dropped if we don't get anything out of this game. Dakanam with the throw. Josh Anoma. Friedek. Dakanam's making a run. Gets the ball. Go around your man. Or not. Crossed it in. Ibergruen's there. And he's finally put it in the back of the net. Edis Ibergruen. He is our top scorer this season, and I think this is probably the year that he's turned into... I, I always say things like this, like a world-class... He's not a world-class player. He's just turned into a really good footballer for us. I don't want to sit back at 1-0. I'd like to get a second goal if we can. I'm thinking Josh Anoma's probably going to come off soon for the youngster Gregory DeVos, who I might actually show you in a minute as well. Corner for Zwolle. It's Of course they've scored. Of course they've scored. That's literally their first highlight, and it's gone in. Well, that's not. It's their first highlight of this half, and they've scored from it. This is just appalling. 80 minutes in. Josh Anoma is coming off. DeVos is going to come on. This is DeVos. He's not that great, but he's only 18 years old. He's not really a winger. I mean, that's we're kind of forcing him to be a winger. But I don't play in an attack midfielder in the middle, so it makes sense to me. Demand more. There is very little time left. There's seven minutes of normal time. Goal kick. From Zwolle, Simak doesn't win the header. Hit someone, Nilsson, Coppers. Coppers in the middle to Conrad. Conrad to Marinus. Bande, the goal scorer. Larsen and Friedek combined to win the ball back. Iba and Tom Van Viet's there if he can do a crossfield ball. Friedek out wide to flip and nobody. Friedek has just not... The last few games he's played, he's not been very good at all. Where are they going to go? In the middle to Marinus. Nilsson. Heltner Nilsson. Bander. Julian Green intercepts and Tom Van Viet's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Maybe. Maybe he's being forced out wide. And Why did you do that? You just kicked in a straight line with the way you were running. We are going to draw with Zwolle. I can't even do anything. We've got four minutes of injury time because every game ends with four minutes of injury time. Nothing's happened. We've drawn one apiece with Zwolle, who are a team who are fighting relegation. Um, well, that is... Josh Timmer made eight mistakes. And you got 6.4. Imagine if you didn't make the mistakes. You'd be on a 9. Assertively, that simply was not good enough. Right. Do I find anyone? Tim and wants a... Every time! Aguanaga is out for 7 to 9 days. That's not too bad. Al Carney, by the way. Uh, he's he's getting a few goals now in the Belgian Pro League. He's not really played enough. But he's, he's now playing and scoring. That could be a massive 2 points dropped. Because here in Veen... And AZ Alkmaar now, they can they can go ahead of us. All they need to do is win. If they win, they push us down into fifth place. It is the next day and it looks like Feyenoord and PSV have done us a favour. Although PSV winning has kind of clawed them back into it. So we are still third. But now Hirenveen, Roda, PSV and AZ Alkmaar are also kind of in the hunt. You could even possibly say Vitesse and VVV might, depending on how results go, get back into this as well. 
We are five days away from the next match and we have now got our youth intake. Last time we had our youth intake, there wasn't a huge amount of decent players and I wasn't recording so I didn't feel the need to go through it. I haven't looked at any of these yet. It doesn't say there's a golden generation. Um, Ian Jacobs. Jacobs? Jacobs? Sure. He's apparently one of the most gifted. He is five-star potential. He's a six-foot-two, 15-year-old centre-back. He is actually perfect. All we need is maybe to get his determination and uh, positioning up, and he is, he'll be good. He'll be very good. I'm, I approve of Arjan Jacobs. Right, let's sort by potential ability. There's not a huge amount of potential here, is there? I mean, Sven de Jong and up to Eric Martina might make it. I mean, it's not a huge intake. We have Richard Kuiman, who is a central midfielder and a left back. Uh, maybe. I mean, he's all right at first touch and passing, but that's about it. 15-year-old winger, Keys de Kock. He's, uh, again, I like, he might be all right. He might be better than what he looks at the moment. I mean, technically, he's got lots of eights, but he does have some reasonable mental mental stats as well. Determination, teamwork's pretty good. Work rate. It's not, not the worst, so he might get better. Also, he's only 15, so hopefully his physical stats will improve as well. And the final player who looks like he might be any good, according to the star rating at least, is Enrico Brafade. Bra Brafade? Brafade doesn't sound right, but that seems to be how it's written down, so that's what we're going with. He is a six foot two centre-back. I'm not exactly convinced by him. Mentally, he's very good. Technically, not. So... Maybe if he's got the determination, which he doesn't, maybe oh, he could be good, but I don't think he will be. So yeah, it's basically just Arjan Jacobs, who looks like he's going to be the best of our youth intake. He can play central midfield, which by the look of him, he's not going to be a midfielder. We're still not at the FC20 game, and Sunderland want to give me a job. Uh, even Even if I was unemployed, I wouldn't go there. Now we're at the FC Twente game. Because of results that have gone uh, in between, well, on the Saturday, it's now, we are, I think we're the last game to play, actually. Yeah, because of other results, AZ and Hirenveen have moved above us. AZ won their game. Hirenveen actually drew with 17th place ADO Den Haag. So it means we've dropped down to 5th, but a victory here, still not, definitely not guaranteed, but a victory here will put us into 3rd place, 1 point clear of AZ Alkmaar. The starting lineup we are going to go for against Twenta in goal is Sergio Pat. Uh, no, it's not Sergio Pat. We're changing that. We're stopping you playing. Christian Lasso is in goal. Dejean Dakanam, Juna Toivio, Nicholas Friere, and Josh Timmon are the back four. Friedek and Anoma are the two central midfielders. Frank Dogbowl is going to be playing on the right hand side. Interestingly, him and Dakanam get on really well. Well, they they work well as a team. That's what the green line means. They're not best friends. Well, they might be better. Where am I going with this? I don't know. Julian Green is going to be on the other wing, interestingly for them. He doesn't get on with Josh Timmon, and I don't really know why. It says they have a fairly decent partnership, but it's orange. I, I, I don't understand those lines. Up front is going to be Edis Ibergruen and Tom Van Viet, who also have their own little line linking those two up as well. While the team talk was fairly non-existent on that one, good job. We really need to start winning some games, because we are in danger of sliding back down the table again. We've lost three league games in a row, potentially, or not in a row, three league games and I think a draw as well, mixed in. So we really could do with picking up another victory. Ah, the good news is, if we draw this game, we do move up into third regardless. So a win would be even better, because we go two points clear, because now that's how maths works. 20 minutes in, nothing has happened really, apart from Julian Green getting booked. Half an hour in, and nothing else has happened apart from Josh Timmon getting booked. 40 minutes in, oh, and we do have a highlight. Timmon with a corner. It's cleared. Dogball's going to get the ball back. Timmon's there if he needs him. Takes it out wide himself. Finds Josh Timmon crossed in. Iba Gruen's there. It's going to get cleared. Only as far as Friedek, who takes a touch. Why did he take a touch? Why don't he just wallop it? Friere gets the ball across to Dakanam. This is the first highlight of the game. It's taken 41 minutes. Dogbowl crossed in. Iba Gruen's there. He's gone all the way over, but it is going to be a penalty. Tom Van Viet is going to be the one stepping up to take it. Please just put it in, Tom. You've not had the best of luck when it comes to penalties. Where are you going to put it? Where are you going to go? Oh, 
dear God. Highlight just before half time. I'm still shocked at that awful penalty. I mean, the the words I think as Matt Letizia said, you need to get it on target. If you get it on target, then like that that's half the penalty problem. Oh, great save by Lasso. Timon gets it clear. Yeah, penalties. You have to get them on target. If you miss them, that's your own stupidity. Half time, and so far this has been the most exciting game of football. Yeah, I'm shouting at people. Of course I'm shouting at people. Tom Van Viet is getting subbed because basically missing that penalty, the way the football manager games work, if you miss a penalty, you're done. There is no point in you playing on because you will not score. First highlight of the second half, and it looks like... Oh, it's a good save from Lasso. I've just realised he's a tiny, tiny human. Although he's not. He's 5'11". But for some reason on the pitch, he looks really small. 55 minutes in, we're getting nothing. This match is just disappearing into complete nothingness. No highlights, a missed penalty, and that's about it. Right, Julian Green, you are flipping useless. Have I got any left wingers, Dino Hottich? I mean, you normally play on the right, so let's give you a go on the other side. We've got a highlight just after the substitution. Lulic, Teta. Back to Lulic. Through ball, Teta's not going to get there. Timon is. Just get it clear. Christ, man. Anoma with a little header, but the ball is going to come back towards us. Haspalat. Mihalik. He's hit the post. Mihalik's hit the post. We've got very lucky there, and I don't know why. We're just dicking about on the ball, not getting it clear. 70 minutes in, nothing. Just absolutely nothing going on. It's not even like an exciting nothing. It's just literally no highlights. I've put the put it onto overload and still not not a sausage. Not a singular sausage. Ibergroen, get off. Right, Charlie Brown, you're coming on. Charlie Brown is the uh, English striker. He used to play for Chelsea. I picked him up on a free transfer in the summer. He's come off the bench twice now for us. Well, we've hit 90 minutes and nothing. Just nothing at all. 94 minutes played and that is full time. And after the Tottenham game, we actually refunded the fans. I'd refund the fans for this one as well. Is that just me? I, I, am I being a bit harsh? You're getting another shouting at. That was... Dino Hodge, shut up. You were useless as well. You got 6.5. You played 45 minutes. Well, that piss poor result does move us back into third place. But that is, again, that is another team. They're 12th. We are drawing and losing to teams that we really should not be drawing and losing. We've... So, seriously, we've drawn eight games this season. Twice with PSV, twice with, twice with Zwolle, twice with Twente. How does that work? Right, I'm going to check how this works. So, we... So, the top team qualifies for the Champions League. The second team qualifies for the Champions League. Does the third team qualify for the Europa League group stage? Fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh? Qualify for the the weird knockout thing? Right, I think that is the case. So this is the first season and Excelsior qualified for the Europa League. So third place in theory should get Europa League qualification regardless. Then the winner of the Dutch Cup should get Europa League qualification as well. Maybe even fourth, because I think we've got an extra uh, spot now. So, finishing third is what I want to do. Because if we finish third, we don't have to go through the weird Europa League playoff nonsense. However, if we have to go through that, it might mean that we don't get Europe next year. Which could be a blessing in disguise. Next episode, we are going to have here in Wien and Willem Tway. Normally, I do the final three games. This time, I'm going to do the final two, because I think we are going to be in the weird European qualifying thing. So the next episode after that will, will potentially be three. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about, OK? Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2018 with FC Groningen. If you did enjoy the two draws against mid-table or lower league sides, leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time when hopefully we've picked up our form again.